Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you find the videos useful. We'll consider the problem for Kendall's tau. This is the problem given. The elements of x are given. The elements of y are given. Now we'll start first step ranking. So 6, 8, 5, 2. And I will set the ranks for x. 2 is on 1. 5 is on 2. 6 on 3 and 8 on 4. Now similarly we have the ranks for y. 8, 4, 9, 6 are the elements. And uh, ranks of y will be 4 is on 1, 6 on 2, this on 3 and this on 4. So we have both the arrangements. This is Rx and Ry. Now we have to, we are done with the ranking. The second step is to rearrange the ranks. So rearrange ranks is when we are given these ranks. X should go ascending order. Now this is rearranging. X should go in ascending order. That is 1 here, 2, 3 and 4. Straight away place them in ascending order. Now what we are doing for Ry, we have to arrange elements of Ry according to the arrangement here. You see when Rx was 1, what was Ry? It was 2. What was Ry when it was 2? It was 4. Similarly these, when it was 4, it was 1 and this was 3 and it was 3. So Ry we have received and Rx we have received. Now in Kendall's tau we require only this row that is the Ry. We don't need Rx. Now in the step number 3 we calculate the S value in the table and for this we need only ranks of Y. So the ranks of Y we had received are uh, Ry2, 4, 3 and 1. Now what we do is in step 4 we diagonally arrange the elements. Now how we diagonally arrange the elements of Ry? 2 we write as it is on the first row, 4 goes on the second row, leaving this gap, 3 goes after 2 gaps over here and 1 goes after 3 gaps over here. Okay, these are the diagonally placement of elements. Now we go to step 5. <coughs> After diagonal placement, check for the concordant and discordant C or D. Now, I'll explain what is this. You have to check every element of Y placed diagonally with its own element over here. Now, is 2 smaller or greater than 4? It is smaller. So, when it is smaller, diagonal element value is smaller than these values. Place C over here. 2 is less than 3, place C on the, again on the same row. We are talking about same row. 2 is greater than 1. Now this time it is discordant. That is D. Again we start with the 4. So 4 is, we have to see this and this element. So 4 is greater than 3, this is D. 4 is greater than 1, this also is D. Now the last thing, 3 is greater than 1, this is the last row remaining, 3 is greater than 1, that is D. So we have all Ds and we have C and D here. Now we are going to find how many number of Cs are there on that particular row and how many number of Ds. So Cs are 2, D is 1. Here C is 0, there is no C, so D are 2. And here D, uh, C is not there. D is 1. And on the last row we will have always both zeros. Okay. Now we have to perform C minus D. So what is the next step is C minus D. 
Now what I have shown in the PDF is we have to do C minus D. That is the same what values I have got here. It's the same problem. So let's talk with the PDF. 2 minus 1. This, these are number of C's minus number of D's. So 2 minus 1 we get 1. 0 minus 2 is minus 2. This way we have all the values. Now we add up all these values and we get the S value. <clears throat> and S value is minus 2. Now we have to uh, calculate the N also for the formula. So N is number of elements. That is we had 4 elements. You can see X has uh, X and Y have 4 elements. A, B, C, D. So these are the 4 elements. A, B, C, D. So we have N is 4. So this is N. Now we directly place the elements in the formula. 2 into S. That is the S value. Minus 2 was the S value. N is 4. N is again 4. And minus 1. So the tau value is whatever you get after the calculation. This is the tau value. And hence that is the measurement of the Kendall's tau. Now, in the textbooks and in the notes, the tau formula is given this. Don't get confused. What we used is the same formula. How I'll explain you. This is N of C minus N of D. That is nothing but summation of C minus summation of D. But we already saw that through the table we got S which was summation of C minus summation of D. That means this is S only. Now moving to the next. Here we will see tau equal to this is the formula. Summation of C minus summation of D and whole upon n into n minus 1 divided by 2. So when this 2 goes up, so this becomes 2 into sigma c minus sigma d upon n into n minus 1. That is nothing but 2 into s because this is s sigma c minus sigma d that is Already we have calculated this is 2s n into n minus 1. So this is the same formula that we have used over here. So do not get confused when you see this formula. It's not wrong. This formula what we have used is not wrong. <clears throat>